hair loss. In the next few minutes, we will be talking about these important points. Avoid hair bleach, hair coloring. Henna based hair color is okay. Avoid any harsh chemicals and extreme heat to the hair. Consider purchasing a wig if you choose. Your cancer medications may cause some hair loss or hair thinning. Generally, this can be noticeable within two or three weeks after you have started treatment. You may sometimes experience soreness in your scalp as well. It is very uncommon to have full hair loss. Your new hair growth may have a different color and texture. If you have a hairstylist or salon that you regularly go to, you may want to talk with them about your hairstyling options. The following are some recommendations to minimize or delay hair loss. Avoid frequent exposure to extreme heat on your scalp, such as a hot blow dryer. Use a gentle, soft brush for your hair. Avoid hair products such as hairsprays, mousse, or gels that contain harsh chemicals to reduce chemical exposure. Avoid hair bleaches and hair colors with strong chemicals. Consider henna based hair coloring if you wish to color your hair. If you are interested in purchasing a wig, there are many options of wigs available. Ask a member of your cancer care team to provide you a list of wig shops in the area. You may also want to investigate what is available for purchase in online stores. If you have private coverage, your insurance company may assist with some of the cost of a wig or other accessories. The Canadian Cancer Society has wig rooms, which may help women with wig selections. You can contact the Canadian Cancer Society at 1 888 939 3333 to find a wig room close to you. To summarize, avoid hair bleach, hair coloring. Henna based hair color is okay. Avoid any harsh chemicals and extreme heat to the hair. Consider purchasing a wig if you choose.